<coughs> Good afternoon, YTPC. Mark here. I hope you are all well. Today, I'm going to smoke this Corum Shade Gigante. Now, this is, if memory serves, I think it's a 6 by 60 ring gauge, I think it is. Um, where's the glasses? Oh, these are the wrong ones. These aren't my reading glasses. Um... Yeah, six by 60. So, it's been a good while since I tried one of the Corum Shade Cigars. I tended to find that a lot of the Shade Cigars that I tried, they always seemed to fall a little bit short. Sometimes the construction wasn't as nice, the drawers weren't great. They burned terribly, um, but I just thought I would pick up a couple more um, because it had been quite a while. Now, I can't remember if I have had the Corum Shade before or if it was the Factory Smokes. Like I say, it's, it's been a while, so I cannot remember. It smells very grassy. very mild because I'm sort of used to trying the more stronger cigars like the Maduro's that type of thing um, so I want to see what this is like but before I start um, I had a package the other day from Pipe Tree and a good while ago he was at a car boot sale and he just bought a box of random pipes and when he got them home he realized there was a few Dunhills in there and one of the Dunhills caught my eye and I thought it was quite nice and so we were sort of having a chat the other day and I'd sort of, he said he was running low on tobacco so I sort of said well look you know how do you fancy doing a trade I'll send you some tobacco for the pipe and he said yeah no problem so this is the pipe and um, the stems are very oxidized there's a bit of chatter on the stem there but the bowl is honestly it is very clean it looks like it's barely been smoked um, sort of makes you wonder if this stem sort of belonged to this pipe originally because uh, it does look so so old and sort of a little bit worn but I'm not going to complain. I've given it a good clean. I've tried to give this a bit of a buff up. Um, but I don't really mind this sort of the stem looking a bit oxidized because I kind of feel that it makes the pipe feel old. And I'm assuming it is quite an old pipe. Um, the stamps 324. Got the usual white dot on there can't believe how light this pipe actually is when I took it out of the box it was like it feels like fresh air it's so light I mean when I, I hold it with me Morgan Bones this Morgan Bones feels a lot heavier than this strangely enough Um, so yeah I give the ball a bit of a bit of a polish up with some of the polish that um, Mark sent to us to try and again I've tried to I've give this a good clean Um I was quite surprised how much dirt did come off it I give it a good wipe down and I gave it a, a going over with some toothpaste just a little bit of an abrasive and it was quite surprising how much dirt came off it and then I've done the usual sanitizing whiskey etc so this is ready to go I was going to smoke this but I thought no I'll wait I might do that in another video but yep yeah, Tree, thank you for that. It's a lovely pipe. 
and um, I look forward to giving it a try. Um, a couple of other things, he sent us a pipe reamer as well. And he also sent me this, which I thought was absolutely great. It's um, a little mouthpiece, you sort of stick your cigar on there and um, away you go. A little bit of a posh cigar holder. But yeah, I think that just looks absolutely great. And uh, I think it's a little bit too small for this cigar. It probably goes up to maybe it's about a 55, 56 ring gauge. But uh, yeah, it's it's too small for this big boy. So again, I'll look forward to giving that a try another time. So again, Tree, thank you so much. And hopefully I'll get that stuff off to you very soon. Um, so yeah, let's give this cigar a try. What a nice big dinner. What's dinner? So I think it's always nice to have a decent, decent sized cigar after a big meal. So here we go. Let's get the Jedi lightsaber out. I'm not holding too close. It's just as you can see, it's quite far from the actual flame. Just till I sort of see it glowing front there so I know it's the right amount of distance I don't take it right up to the flame because again I don't want it I want it to light it not scorch it and burn it too badly I know it says it's had a bit of a blowout on the side. So there's been some nasties in there. Not a good start. Not a good start. I think I am just jinxed when it comes to shared cigars. I mean, it was literally purging right at the start there. So no, not a good sign. Yeah, where that hole is there, it seems to look as if it's continued sort of round to this side here. I've got a bit of a double, a double blow out there. Not good.
It's got a very good draw. Quite peppery. Definitely peppery on that retro hill. <clears throat> it's one of those retro hills where it's almost like sort of Vicks vapor rub that when you have a a retro hill it really feels like it opens up the airways of your nostrils. Quite a chemical aftertaste there. Ooh, that's not nice at all. Mm. Not nice at all. Strange have to taste there. Mm. <clears throat> Very strange. Just wonder if there's a little bit of build up of some nasties in there. isn't burning well like I say it's that blowout's really opened up the cigar there I'm going to try and touch this up and bring it back to sort of get on an even keel as it were which is a shame because by doing that you're sort of having to burn away I don't think this one's going to recover from that, so I'll help it along a little bit and try and get it. Level. Got a weird, weird taste to it. It's almost like a <clears throat> like a chemical taste.
definitely needing the purge. Well, the retro hail improved there. I'm still getting that strange chemical taste. It's almost like a I can't say mouthwashy taste, but <clears throat> you know when you've been to the dentist and you've had sort of like the stuff that they coat under your teeth and you get that weird sort of chemical taste in your mouth it works like There's obviously still some in there because that purge is ongoing. And I can sort of see the little little pockets that it's blown out of. Could just be a bad one in the batch. It does happen. And if that's the case, it's just unfortunate that um, this is a one that I'm unlucky to purchase and smoke. Well, that is unfortunate because, again, that's just finalised my thoughts on shared cigars, i.e. don't get them. <laughs> like I say, I had an underground, uh, an undercrown shared a, a few years ago, and it was just absolutely terrible. It canoed, it smoked bad, it was just, there was nothing about it. That was nice, and it cost us a pretty penny as well. <clears throat> it's just, I'm not enjoying this at all. Nope. And yet, the Coram Maduros are great. I love them. For a budget cigar, I don't think that you can go wrong with them. And the beauty of this, because they are so cheap, if you do get a bad one, then it's like, oh, well, I only paid, you know, about $5 a stick or whatever. You don't really mind. But again, when you buy a, a cigar and it's costing you sort of 50, 60 pounds and it smokes bad, then obviously that's when it kind of hits home. So I suppose I am lucky in that sense that these were pretty cheap so you don't mind but no it's left a really horrible bitter taste in my mouth even the coffee's not shifting it Actually, I think the coffee might be make it worse. There seem to be like loads of little voids in there, and it's burning through really quick before it's catching back onto the tobacco again so it's starting to canoe again straight away <clears throat> yeah it feels quite 
where the rest of it's quite when I press there you can feel you see my fingers actually dipping into it there's like a little cavity there if you like it's probably when it's catching that and it's just fresh air there it's burning through that outer wrapper and just spoiling the experience I'm afraid Well, that was a shame. I hate it when I do a video and it turns out to be a really bad smoking experience. But it just proves that while we're all on this journey, it's not a 10 out of 10 all the time. It's not 100% success rate. You do get the really bad ones, so unfortunately, this has been one of those cases. Yeah, that's still a serious flame on that purge. And again, that's just... You see all the little... It's almost like a honeycomb in there. I don't know if it's maybe it's had some little tobacco beetles in there or something and it's made a little home and... It's like you say, it's chewed out that little void. Ah well, never mind. Hopefully the next one I have will be much more enjoyable. See, it was jinxed. I should have smoked the Dunhill and not the cigar. Typical. What's interesting about the Dunhill is that it has a stinger. I mean, look at the size of that thing. That's a hell of a stinger. So I don't know whether to smoke it with or without the stinger. I'll probably, I'll probably try both ways. I don't mind smoking unfiltered pipes, so um, I'll give it a try both ways, see how it goes, but I'll probably take it out. Lovely little Dunhill, really nice. Again, thanks a lot, Trey. <clears throat> I'll not send you one of these shades to try because the shit. I'm afraid to say. So I'll keep that out of the tobacco package I send you. I'll give another one a go. I say I bought a couple of them. If the other one smokes the same as this, 
what I'll probably end up doing is I'll just chop them up. Chop them all up and mix them in with a pipe tobacco and do a bit of a, a monster mix if you like. I say it's no point not smoking them or getting rid of them or whatever because repurpose them, chop them up, mix them up with something else. I've got mixing tobaccos there. Sometimes it ends up being a better pipe blend than an actual cigar on its own. So it's it's not a total write-off, but just a shame, that's all. Especially when you're looking forward to just sitting down and relaxing. And enjoying a cigar. And you don't. It's strange because it has got quite a a nutty almond taste to it when it comes through, when it get past that bitter chemical taste. But yeah, I just hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just been a bad one of the batch. Strangely enough, that's been the best draw I've had out of this cigar so far. Well, thank you for watching. I'm sorry it's been a little bit disappointing. But again, the good thing is that these also serve as a warning as opposed to really good things as well. Um, so yes, it just proves that Shared cigars are just meant to not meant to be for me, I'm afraid. I think I'll stick to the Maduros. So on that note, have a great weekend. I hope wherever you are, you are safe and well. Obviously smoking something a lot nicer than what I've just been experiencing. And um, I'll see you all again soon. May do one tomorrow and we'll give the Dunhill a run out and give it its first smoke. So until then, bye for now.